Welcome campers. In today's video I'll be replacing the headliner on my 1996 Jeep Cherokee and adding an extra light to the cargo area. Stay tuned. So while you're at it, before you even take the headliner out, you want to double check to make sure none of the glue that's used to hold in the windshield is stuck onto the headliner. You're going to want to take a razor knife and trim that so the headliner comes out easily. Because if you don't and you yank on the headliner, you could rip the headliner and destroy it. And while you're removing the dome light, these two studs that come out of the roof are what holds the dome light on. They're guides for the dome light itself. So before you remove those, you're going to want to remove these two little washers. That's what goes onto those studs that holds the dome light on. You're going to want to take a pick tool or a pair of needle nose and slowly remove those. Because if you lose those, or if you destroy the studs, it's going to be really hard to hold the dome light back onto the roof of the vehicle. I decided to tape all the wires to the roof to keep them out of the way for when it's time to put the old headliner back in. Before putting on the new fabric, I completely removed the old fabric and the insulation below it and then used an entire can of adhesive from O'Reilly's Auto Parts to put on the new felt. And after placing the new fabric onto the headliner, we used the paint roller, bag clips, and sewing needles to hold it in place to let it dry overnight. As part of the drying process, I put sewing pins into the headliner to help hold it down. I pinned it about every six to eight inches. So once we flip the headliner, I can hot glue the bottom of it to the back. This is the final product of the headliner. Now since the headliner is done, it's time to get started on the back cargo area light. I measured the center of the back trim panel and I drilled a hole. And then now I'm going to bolt the light on there and run the wiring to the switch. Alright, that is the light mounted. And I'll explain this mess of wires. This wire is the supply this is the power wire coming from my auxiliary battery box and then this wire is the ground that I am gonna uh, sandwich between the nut that holds the hatch on this is the final product just on the back pillar we have a toggle switch that runs up to a cyclone pod to give us light for the cargo area. Our ultimate goal is to fill up the headliner with patches from all of our adventures. And thank you so much for watching guys. If you got anything of value from this video, please give us a like. And we'd really appreciate it if you subscribed.